Once I've opened the file, uh, you'll notice that you've got um, the introduction page and you'll just put in your name, your rank, years full time in the profession, first year of appointment at William & Mary, and you can just click in that box to start typing. Okay, and once you're done with that, you go to the teaching link and the, the, all the um, tabs are down at the bottom, you'll notice. And so now the teaching tab um, is the next thing that you'll fill out and you can put in um, all the courses that you're teaching. Make sure that you fill out, when you fill out one of these um, areas, make sure you fill out all of the information that's required. So don't only fill out the course number, but fill out the number of students enrolled and the number of students completing the evaluation. And you need to fill out everything um, if you're going to start filling out a line so that everything can be counted properly. Um, so for example, new courses. Make sure that you add any new courses that you're teaching as well as any credits that that course is worth. So if that's a three credit course, put that down. And then whether or not you're responsible for the syllabus. Okay. And once you're done with that, you can just go on and finish out the rest of the form. And I'll scroll down and you'll see that most every teaching possibility has been accounted for. Uh, but if there are things that uh, you feel are not accounted for. We have a miscellaneous other column that you can go ahead and fill out anything that you wanted to say. Um, and there are five slots for any miscellaneous or other teaching that you might feel you want credit for. Um, once you're done with teaching, you can jump over to research and same thing, fill out um, all the research. Now again, you'll notice underneath title for a single author published monograph, you'll need to put out in the title and the year here, when you see the word year, that means uh, what year into the publication um, you are. So if this is the first year that the book was published, um, you'll click one. If this is the second year after publication, you'll click two. And then you'll want the full MLA citation as well. And just make sure you fill out everything um, that is asked of you again. And I'll scroll down to the bottom. And if there are any um, miscellaneous items that you need uh, to account for that are not counted up above, um, you can go ahead and fill those out um, in the miscellaneous other column here as well. Um, and then service. So you just go to service and fill out all of the service information the same way that you filled out the teaching and the research. Um, and then your narrative. And I'll click on the narrative tab and you'll see there's a sample narrative and you will want to fill out um, your narrative in this text box here where it says type or paste your text in this box and you can just click in this box you can remove um, where it says type or paste your text in this box and you can type in um, no more than a hundred words um, as a summary as a paragraph um, for uh, your narrative and that's it once you're done with that you'll go to file and you can either save or save as. I prefer save as so that you can actually save it with a different name. And I'll call this Bloom Eval. And I'll put that in the desktop. You can put it anywhere that you like, anywhere that you'll remember. And click Save.